Hello everyone, I'm Akif and today I will just give you an overview about the uh, speed control of a DC motor using neural adaptive control or in other words we'll be using the artificial neural network to control the speed of a uh, motor. So what happens is that uh, we have a DC motor and in this DC motor we give some sort of a uh, we have a, some sort of uh, power supply and it may uh, be a direct current uh, power supply uh, as we see in the motors that we have in our toy cars or robots um, so what happens in that case is that we um, give it a certain voltage which may be 3 volts or 4 volts uh, but what happens is that the output that we obtain is uh, that of the output <laughs> that we obtain is the angular speed so we give uh, input as so the input that is provided to this DC motor is some voltage V and the output obtained is angular speed so this keeps on rotating so it keeps on ro rotating and we have angular speed as output so the question remains how can we um, so the question is that how can we use uh, artificial neural network to train uh, the uh, s uh, characteristics of um, DC motor? So that we can do by using the following technique. We take all these, we, we, we take the data. For example, we have given some voltage at one volt. The, uh, this is the voltage and this is uh, the speed, angular speed speed so at 1 volt suppose there was 200 rpm was the angular speed at 2 volt it was 300 rpm at uh, 3 volt suppose it was 400 rpm in that way we have got a tabular sheet we feed this tabular sheet to our neural network where with the input is where the input to this neural network that we have is set as the value of voltage that's V and uh, it has got a weight and bias then there's B1 and then we have some sort of um, what do you call as activation function it can be anything it can be pure linear it can be tan sigmoid or it can be log sigmoid so the output we obtain is here then we keep on fiddling with the number of neurons so these neurons we can change we can keep them uh, two this is the input that we feed this input is one that's voltage and then we have this activation function f and the output obtained is here so we keep on changing with till we obtain a good relationship between uh, the actual output and the output we obtain in our uh, actual plant uh, in our neural network so th that's how we train the neural network now the question remains how do we make a controller so in this case when we train the neural network characteristics if you try to plot the graph between the voltage and the uh, target output it will be all almost same uh, the relationship will be same as you will uh, have it in your uh, actual graphs so the correlation will be something like this so correlation coefficient will be somewhere between 0 0.90 to 1 if it is one it means that it is trained perfectly one means that it was trained perfectly so 
so, so we test various kinds of things in this it could be uh, validation uh, testing and training now how do we make a controller in the previous neural network which we had here uh, the input was voltage and the output was angular speed now when we have a controller in controller the input is the output which means the input is um, angular speed and the output is voltage so this is a controller so which means if I want the if I want to know at what voltage my angular speed will be 400 or uh, pm uh, I have to put the value here and it will give me that value of voltage which is 3 so in that way we create a controller and the question remains how can we uh, control the speed of a uh, motor using artificial neural network and that too online so this is the graph I have made this is the controller I was talking about we set we give it a uh, reference for example 300 rpm and it will uh, produce the value for example it's 2 volts and at this volt the motor starts rotating and here we have got an optical sensor this optical sensor is this optical sensor is just a minute this optical sensor gives us the speed and this speed is fed as an in input to the neural network estimator which is another neural network and this is actually what we use for the training online training and the output obtained is fed as input to this neural network right and the input that was fed to the uh, motor and the input uh, the output coming out of the controller is fed as an input to this neural network estimator and it calculates some value which means the speed value if this speed value differs to a greater degree than the speed obtained with the, then it majors error this is called as estimated error and this error is fed back to this neural network and um, in that way it adjusts the speed and why does it adjust the speed for example there is some external disturbance external disturbance in the sense that if we put this uh, in some sort of a magnetic field the tendency of this magnetic uh, f the tendency of these uh, this uh, propeller will be to uh, decrease its speed because it's in the vicinity of neural network but what uh, is, since it's in the vicinity of the uh, motor now what happens here is that uh, the, uh, the, the there will because of this because of this external disturbance there will be a difference in the estimated speed and the actual speed so what happens is that this calculated error will be fed back to the neural network estimator and this will cause the propeller to fight back uh, this external um, load and it will be uh, it will be uh, it will be trying to regain its original uh, speed which is 300 rpm so that was all for today thanks and have a nice day